Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I'm back with Mixed Media Guy. Hello. So, we got this syringe at the dollar store, and we are going to basically fill it up with paint and then inject that paint into some wet paint. So, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. All right. Um, and we're using some really bright colors, and we're using black as our background. All right. So first, I'm going to go ahead and put a nice big pool of black in here. And that's going to be the paint that I basically inject this into. Mm -hmm. We measured and only about an ounce and a half or so of paint fits in here. So I'm going to hold this with my finger over the hole while Johnny goes ahead and fills Ooh, it up yes. in whatever order you want. Start with some pearl white. Okay. The black that I put on here was Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. <laughs> and um, this is the color he just put in as Arteza Metallic White. And now we're using the Arteza Metallic Purple. It's probably easier if you just unscrew the top. Honey. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Because we don't want to get a bunch of air bubbles in there. Right, that's a good point. Yeah. The purples are almost empty, so just be patient. Okay, good enough. He really likes purple. <laughs> Love it. Okay. And then uh, this is an Artist Loft Magenta. So it's a really bright pink. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> We're going with some very pinky pink here. Yeah. And then Arteza Teal. Oh, good. Or actually, this is like a metallic turquoise. Bronze, maybe too. Perhaps. Okay, and then some orange. This is the um, Artist Loft Vermilion. It's one of my favorites. Let me get that nice and orangey. Man, I'm not going to shake this one. I don't know why I keep shaking them. <laughs> I don't know why either. They're not Polaroid pictures. Uh, this is the Artist Loft Violet. Okay, let's see we put a little bit more of something. I feel like this is going to be really pink. Although pink with black does look really good. It does. Um, you get a little more of the blue? Sure. There's yeah. also the electric blue if you want to put some of that in there. It's electric. Okay, fine. You, you sold me. Okay. So this is the Arteza Metallic um, Electric Blue. I mixed up a lot of paint a few days ago and then I did a huge painting and used most of it so all right we're gonna put the plunger back in mm -hmm. and at this point we're gonna take you down for a side view Get back in there. okay well my fingers over the hole so <laughs> I've never done this before so this is gonna be interesting but basically I'm gonna just set this down in the middle it's gonna come out on its own Look how cool that side looks. It does look really cool. Oh, we're on the side view. <laughs> right. Whoops. Okay, here we go. So the goal is that it's going to come out underneath that black paint. So I'm going to go kind of slowly. And I have the this pushed all the way down to the canvas. Hmm. So that the paint can come out kind of under, like I said, under that black paint. There are multiple ways to do this. I've seen it where people kind of just, uh, you know, put the paint across the canvas or um, inject the colors one at a time. <laughs> There's no rules. This is how I thought it would look pretty cool. And I knew that since this didn't fit a lot of paint, we would need that black base paint. Okay, there we go. Already quite intriguing. I know, right? Some air bubbles in there, huh? Yep. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. So we'll bring you back for the top view. And here we go, tilting. So this is kind of similar to the funnel pour, but a bit cooler, I think, <laughs> um, in that it like the whole purpose is kind of to push it underneath 
the other paint. It wouldn't have been a bad idea, I think, if we layered some black paint in there too. But I am liking this though. Yeah. So a lot of the black paint is going to go off mm -hmm. the canvas. And this isn't going to be a really dark painting, it looks like. Wow. I love those metallics. Guys, if you haven't checked out the metallics, all the links will be in the description, including my ratios for mixing. Um, so definitely check that out. You should try these metallic paints. They're awesome. They're the Arteza metallic paints. I am digging this. I'm going to go a little more this way, but I'm okay with having a little bit of black negative yeah, space. me too. I was thinking the same thing. Let's see. It kind of works. How's that? I'm loving it. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's let this sit. Um, remember, we put the paint under the black. So see these black cells popping up? Um, I kind of expect some more of that. So let's come back in a few minutes and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so we're back. We definitely have black cells popping up. I have decided to hit this one with a torch um, because I think that can help create some cool effects and probably definitely bring up some more cells, especially on the edges. It can kind of lace the edges a bit. I don't know if I want to do the whole thing or just the edges. What do you think? I think you should leave it as is. Okay. That's purely my opinion, though. Yeah, I just like, I have I noticed a while back if you, on one that you have, like, black negative space, you lace, you torch the edges, it can give you some lacing. Yeah. Which is cool. All right, let's go ahead and do our, you know, we'll give it five more minutes and then we'll do our close-up. Okay guys, we're back, so we're going to go ahead and do our close-up. There's the lower right-hand corner. You can get a little bit of the idea of what I was talking about with the lacing there. Um, definitely really pretty colors. I'm deeming these unicorn-y colors. I'm with that. Those are unicorn-y colors. <laughs> right? Um, upper right-hand corner, again with the lacing a bit there. Lots of those crazy cells popping through. Upper left hand corner, and then down to the lower left hand corner. And I personally love this part over here, these colors. Yeah, it's like a unicorn geode. Right? With some interesting black dots. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, well, there you go. The first syringe pour. Um, I will be doing some more experiments with this as usual. Let me know what you thought of this project. It came out very interesting. Um, I mean, I definitely love the colors. I'm not sure how I feel about all these black dots. But, you know, we'll see how it dries, too. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But it's interesting. It's different. I like it. Yeah, plus it was fun. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.